forest of the future, eh? Hi guys, it's Pete Litton Hitchens. Uh, this is the site where we're going to plant trees for Oktoberfest. Um, we're at the top of the swales here in this particular spot. So when we're at the top, the first thing is we were thinking about wind. So um, we're going to plant some wattles up the top to try and break the wind going down towards um, the centre of the swales. So that's important to remember. So wherever your windy spots are, we want to put trees that are going to bush up and grow quite quickly to protect what's in the centre. Um, with this swale here, the one we can see here, we're going to plant four um, wattles in the swale. And the idea is we want them to grow as fast as they can. So the thing for a happy tree is moisture. A tree needs plenty of moisture, plenty of drainage. And um, as far as with the actual planting, it's just remembering we've got a little live live tree here so treat it as such it's a little live tree it's got live roots and if we treat the trees that way that really has a big difference when we're actually planting them so i'll just start my hole so the idea with a is we're just going to dig it with a mattock i'm not really into gloves much i like getting my hands and being in amongst it so if you need to use gloves that's fine so the important thing when we're digging the swales is we want a really quite a deep hole. So if you see that, it's that deep. So we've got a really quite a deep hole. And then what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna get some little bit of fertilizer. Um, in this case, we're using dynamic lifter, but just whatever feels appropriate for yourself. So that's all I need, just a little handful like that. And we just put that down in the bottom of the swale and then we just put a bit of dirt over the top of it. So we don't actually want the, um, the plant's roots touching that fertilizer, because if they do that, that's gonna burn the roots. And then these are our wattles here. So on this sw swale here, we'll use about three or four different types of wattle. So we won't just use the one species of wattle. We've got a couple of Kutamundra wattles, we've got a couple of knife edge wattles, and a couple of local varieties here as well. So. When you're getting a, a plant out of a hyco, these are called hycos. So the easiest thing is to go right down at the edge. So don't try and pull them out high. So you pull them out down the bottom. And if you look at this one here, it's actually quite dry. So it needs, it's going to need a bit of a soak. That plant's quite an old uh, seed. So it's going to need a lot of moisture to really fire it up. And then if you look at the bottom here, you can see how all the roots are going straight down on that. They're not all twisted up. So when we plant that, that wattle, they should go down really well. So when we bring it back to the hole, we just sit in the hole. And then the idea is you want to get nice and compact around the tree. So you're not wanting big clumps of grass or anything like that. You're just wanting soil around the tree. So just break up some of that soil you've got there like so and then if you get a few roots like that that's fine but just you don't actually want that round the um, round the roots of the tree you want it nice and compact so just keep doing that and then these swales the soil is really soft so that's not a, a big problem so once we've got it nice and soft like that just pat it down and if you've got a few roots or a few weeds or grasses around the side, just make a bit of a, what we're after is a little bit of a dam around the side of it. So the plant's got plenty of area. So when we get rain or when we water it, we want to put about two to three litres of water in this little swale here for the tree. So that's really quite good there. And just give it another little pat down. So you're wanting that soil quite compact around the tree. And then if we get our fertilizer, again, 
just a little handful of fertilizer again sprinkle on top and then there's a really happy little tree and then the final thing before we put the water on is just to put some mulch and with it with the hay that we've got they'll come in biscuits and we want about a quarter of a biscuit just around each one so the main reason for the mulch in this planting is that we get a lot of summer rainfall here so in the next couple of months the grass is going to grow really quickly and we don't want any competition around this plant while it's getting established so why why all the little plants are getting established you want them to be free of competition so they can really get their roots down quickly so if you can see on this plant it's got that much area where it can root up very quickly and that means that this wattle hopefully in 12 months time should be about this tall um, and that's really important because the quicker we can grow them um, and get them strong then we're not having to come back we only have to do the one watering there so it's remembering to keep them quite deep so they can stay moist in their plantings as well any questions water it's a water Dennis is going to put some water so we're aiming for about two liters of water on each tree when we do October fest um, mm. there'll be a water cart here that yep. we'll be driving around and you can look in here and it's nice and wet around there and that moisture because we've got the um, the loosen that'll stay moist for about two to three weeks without rain so for the next two or three weeks you know that that tree's getting moisture every day and that's really important it's the first two weeks that this plant goes in that really determine whether it lives or dies so um, it's the stress in that period that's really critical to keep that down and for me the main thing is just to have fun doing this I mean it's really quite exciting when you yeah. see these little guys being planted and you can see the landscape we've got at the moment and you can just start to imagine how to feel if this was God's landscape and how to look in um, six or twelve months time so just start to connect with the plants that you're putting in um, because we're going to have lots of different species we're planting and you can all start asking for help from your guides too so you know ask ask your guides which plants appropriate for which hole um, because what you find is all the, all of them have different little habitats that they enjoy more than others so things like the wattles are very tough and robust um, some of your eucalypts and that they're going to need a bit softer soil so they can get their big root structures down further so just think about that as we're planting as well so Dennis is going to start the next one and then I'll come in behind him so that's great we've got a great little hole there and then we just put a bit of fertilizer down the bottom and if there's any clumpy stuff or any stuff like that don't put that back in the hole just go like that and break it up a bit and then we're going to get a different species of wattle we're going to get a kitamundra wattle here and just check to make sure that there's no entanglement of roots down the bottom that one's fine so we just place him in the hole you want him to get them nice and compact and then just think of think of the hole when you finish the planting of the tree just remember you're wanting a couple of litres of water to be able to hold in that hole so just make sure you've got a, just a nice little little swale in there that, that can hold the water a bit more fertiliser on top and then we'll get some mulch the other thing when you're planting swales too is just to mix it up a bit so you might have one person dig the holes on one swale and then the next swale you just take it in turns and that way you know you can plant a lot of trees in a day and not get tired like you should at the end of the day feel like you've had a really fun day but you're not exhausted either because if you're exhausted you're putting that exhaustion into the plants so it's not a race so don't don't think you've got to plant 2100 trees today just plant them how you feel comfortable so so don't rate don't hurry the planting 
because what you'll find is if you get into a team environment where you're planning together it's just a natural flow that starts to happen so we mulch it up and then Dennis might bring some water over and then that's that's another one ready to go and the other thing to remember when we're planting is try and have it that you don't have um, the same species next to each other we're trying to get as much diversity in here as possible so what you find is as soon as you get the diversity the plants or the trees or the shrubs aren't competing with each other they all need different requirements so it, that's how you can really get a big thick um, forest developing over time so think about it how it looks in in nature and in the bush when things are really healthy and thriving there's all sorts of different plants all interacting with each other mm. so we need to do that with these plantings so the main objective with these top swales here is we want to create a wind buffer so that all the little all the trees and that we got down through here are getting some shelter from the wind so these top swales are about planting um, wattles and things like that that are going to grow fast and bush up and and give a bit of protection to down below so just remember you know where your big eucalypts generally grow they're going to grow where the moisture is so up on top here it's a little bit drier as we go down there there's going to be more moisture so where those bigger trees are going to naturally grow is going to be where the moisture is so when you're looking at your swales you can start to see where there's green patches and where there's more water too so start to become aware of that because that's where you want those big fast growing eucalypts whereas your calisimans and your um, tea trees and your wattles if you find if you start digging with a mattock and you find a really hard bit of soil put a wattle in there so if it's a really yucky bit of soil or feels really gritty or really sandy those are the sort of spots you put your wattles um, and so just start to become aware when you're digging with the shovel and the mattock you know of what's actually happening and that will make a big difference so we'll just plant these other two out yeah yeah we'll be we'll be working in we visualize working in teams of four um, and and as Peter said we can we'll swap those roles within but we're looking at if you one person comes in digs the hole next guy comes in plants the tree next one mulches and this process will just leap on and we'll have a uh, uh, we'll have, we're gonna have someone who's who will be a swale team leader and they could just overview it make sure it's okay tidy up anything that needs doing and as we're going if, if there's things that you're not sure of you know not sure of what to plant then hey the guys there and we will actually move along because we're in our desire rather than making it hard work yeah. this is going to be awesome eh? the, the, a lot of these swales have, have all been preceded so uh, as Pete says because of the moisture content that's up here anyway as you can see it so between the swales it's lovely and green and and all the the different species are starting to come come through um, these swales will actually do the same as the rains come through so we are and so that's why we're not actually um, mulching the whole swale we've seeded it instead so just remember when you finish digging your hole and you're planting if you see clumpy stuff like this don't just put it straight back in the hole you just want to break it up get the soil out of it and just this is all carbon here so don't don't be concerned about that that all breaks down and it's good stuff but just around the tree of the just around the roots of the tree you just want to have it really nice fine so that there's not air pockets because those air pockets are going to dry the roots out of you of your plant and then with the mulch um, don't, the mulch is really easy you just want to you basically want to just tuck the mulch around there because what you can see this grass all around here we just don't want that grass around the roots of the plant for the first six months because what you'll find is as soon as this wattle is up this high then it's the one who's controlling the whole environment around it as far as um, the grasses all grow determining by how much moisture this tree is then using whereas at the moment they're very much determined if there's not enough moisture these grasses all around here take a lot of the moisture out it really affects their growth so you've got 
by using Lucen, you've got a really beautiful nitrogen fix here as this breaks down it's really going to feed them for a while too so that's really important and the other thing with Lucen that I find is really good is you want to get all those microbes and bacteria and all those little guys in here all the microbes in here to really start to bring some life back into the soil so as this gets wet and starts to rot down then you're getting that whole cycle happening again too which is really good because um, what we want these plants to do too is our desire is to be able to bring all the birds and the insects back in here so it's just feeling what the big picture is so so these little guys here are a really important part of being able to feed the habitat that comes in here so we want to feed all the little insects and grasshoppers and all those guys so then we can bring all the birds back because if we bring all the birds back and there's no food for them it's not a loving thing to be doing for them or for us so it's important just to feel what the big picture is so big picture here is creating god's garden you know and it's always going to be a colorful thing it's always going to have variety and um, it's remembering that and remembering that when you're planting them we're planting this for god you know and this is one of god's little plants and if we treat it that way then we're always going to be respectful and really love the whole process because it's no longer us and, yeah, we're only doing our little part. You know, it's not us who made the life force of the plant. It's not us who planted the tree, and it's not us who are feeling satisfied that you know of the extraordinary job we've done. We're just playing our little role in helping you know bring back a, a habitat that's been um, you know cleared and taken away. And um, that's really cool if we can do that. Yeah. So thanks, guys. I really look forward to seeing you all. We're going to have a one really exciting week and um and don't 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 um be concerned about how it's all going to happen you find that if we just open up to the concept that you know we can have a really great week and we can plant as many trees that need to be planted and have fun then you'll find the rest just works itself out and the objective here for all of us with Oktoberfest is to learn how to interact with each other and our beautiful environment so you know, if we can have some real fun with that and really open up to the feelings that come to us, it'll be really beneficial for all. So, look forward to seeing you all. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks for that, Pete. It's just this is just an awesome experience that we're all going to just. Uh, it'll just envelop us if we allow it. Uh, be of service to the land and to each other, and uh, just have fun.